and how's it going everybody? It is Skullzy here with the latest gaming news, rumors, and speculation. We're stepping away from pondering the orb about Fallout 5 for a bit and are using those gravitational waves to bounce back to Starfield because each day that passes in 2022 takes us not only one day closer to Starfield's actual release date and finally having the game in our hands this November, but at the same time it inches us ever closer to a major Starfield reveal this summer as well. And interestingly enough, Todd Howard and friends have been oddly quiet recently regarding Starfield, which is strange because for a little while there, we were basically getting monthly trailer updates on this game. So with all this in mind, and with the recent silence leaving the community back in ye old 4chan speculation mode, I decided to break down when a non-skooma addicted person should expect another Starfield trailer, straight from Bethesda Space Studios. So to start things off, like I said, Bethesda basically gave us monthly updates on Starfield in the form of short but informative Constellation log update videos. These would give us new information and lore about the game, as well as additional imagery in the form of Starfield concept art. This was actually happy fun times, Bethesda, up until you randomly fell down a well and stopped uploading these new videos. Our last Constellation log update was actually back in November of 2021, back in ye old ancient times, Bethesda, and since then, they have decided that giving everyone a heart attack by randomly retweeting these old videos was the new thing to do. Every time I see a new alert for a Starfield tweet on my phone, I have a hype-induced panic attack until I realize it's just another old video yet again, Todd. Why are you like this? If we sat down to jet for a second, though, and roll an investigate check, we can break down why Bethesda has been so quiet, and at the same time, when we'll get a new Starfield Constellation Log trailer, most likely. And at the same time, I guess we will break down a rumor all of you have been asking me about for like a week now as well. You're going to understand why I'm so hesitant here in a second, but first off, it makes kind of total sense why we didn't get another Constellation Log video in December, and that is obviously because of the holidays. Bethesda likely took time off to go back home and spend time doing Skumo or whatever they do in the comfort of their own Hearthfire DLCs, which is well deserved. This is likely why we didn't get a Starfield update in December, but at the same time we kind of did, because Todd Howard and the Bethesda teams did wish us a happy holidays in the form of this little video here. Todd basically used Voice of the Emperor on us to calm us down, in spite of there being no new Starfield trailer that month, but what about January Rary? That Starfield radio silence can also be explained for January as well. The Elder Scrolls Online had a major global reveal event for their latest expansion and the latest chapter into the Elder Scrolls Online Adventures, the High Isle, in January. Since ESO is another major Bethesda Softworks game, and since this will likely be ESO's largest reveal in a long time, Bethesda wanted full community focus and attention on this ESO event and announcement, and they didn't want to take any attention away from this announcement by releasing another Starfield trailer or update in January. Bethesda Game Studios are one of the many studios underneath that Bethesda Softworks network, and when another major Bethesda studio has a major announcement going down, the other studios that might not have as much to talk about that month will temporarily go quiet. But now we are in February times. Congratulations on making it this far. But will your award be a new February Constellation Log video? Well, if you follow the Daedric Cult of 4chan, you, you, you might think so, yes, as a recent 4chan post seems to suggest exactly Exactly this. This is yet again another one of those my grandpa is Bethesda supposed 4chan leaks, so that means you should immediately think this is fake, but the community on the other hand seems to believe this might be true, perhaps a little bit too much, but in my opinion still, the framework of this leak does have some credibility to it, even if the leak itself isn't a actual a leak, but here's what it says. The leak states that Skyrim, back in 2011, had a sudden trailer pop up out of nowhere on February 23rd, and with this in mind, on February 24th this year, this February, February 24th, the 24th of, of February, Todd Howard will accompany Phil Spencer to the DICE Video Game Awards, and according to 4chan leaker man, Starfield will follow the same walk as Skyrim did, and will drop a random surprise trailer on February 23rd this month, and this trailer will then be followed up by major Starfield interviews between IGN and Todd Howard himself after the DICE Awards on February 24th. So while this leak does look good on paper, we gotta remember it's a 4chan leak, so... 
These kind of supposed leaks happen often on 4chan for basically everything, and very few of them end up true, but I still feel like it was worth mentioning in today's video because, regardless of the leak's actual validity, the framework for a potential trailer to be dropped for Starfield this February is there, and the timing would totally make sense. Here is what I think though, while it's fun to hit that skooma and believe Mr. 4chan Leaker Man is your best friend and is telling you the truth, I'll say what I always say about leaks like this, it's better to assume they are false, that way you don't get your hypes up for something that doesn't go down. After all, it's better to be surprised and excited rather than let down and disappointed. This 4chan leak may hit a bit different though, but to be honest, I feel if somebody just presented this evidence in this leak like, like how they did instead of trying to pass it off as a leak, then the post in itself would have received a lot more positive attention and attention in general, because like I said, the timing for the Starfield trailer to drop around February 23rd makes total sense given Skyrim's surprise trailer a long time ago, around the same time, basically, and Todd Howard presence at the Dice Game Awards, because Todd Howard is a busy man, and he usually attends things for a very specific reason. However, he could just be attending the Dice Video Game Awards to support his friend Phil Spencer. Todd Howard doesn't always have to talk about Todd Howard game wherever Todd Howard goes. I understand the hype and speculative value there, but we need to check ourselves. Either way, only time will tell one way or another if this leak is true, or when we will get another, another Starfield trailer. The leak is possible for sure, but not just because it's a leak, but because of the details within. What is even more possible, though, is to expect a new Constellation Log video this March, next month, as regardless of whether or not we get another Starfield trailer this month, this February, we almost certainly will next month in March, as Todd Howard and friends will want to ramp up that Starfield hype and attention, leading up until the game's major gameplay reveal showcase this summer at E3 2022. And before you get those worries and start, like, filling up the comments with things, even if E3 2022 doesn't go down and E3 is gone forever, Bethesda and most likely every other video game company will likely still have major announcements and showcases of their own around the same time, as June and the usual E3 summer season will always remain an important time within the video game industry for announcements and stuff. So it basically comes down to this. If you hit the skooma every single day, we might get a surprise Starfield trailer and Todd Howard interviews this February. But if you prefer only to hit the skooma socially, you'd expect Starfield information this March. And if you achieve Kim and have no need for skooma, at all, you'd probably expect Starfield information this June, but let me know which one of these you are down in the comments below. Thumbs up though if you enjoy the content, it actually helps out a lot and keeps me motivated to make more content, and be sure to subscribe to help grow the community and the channel, and huge shout out to the following amazing people for supporting the channel and the community. Get your name added to this permanent future video shout out list by supporting the channel over on Coffee, Patreon, or here on YouTube as an exclusive channel member. I am updating this list now, I've had quite a few amazing people support the channel recently, so I did push back the updated list, but it is getting updated now, so if you want to get added to the next list, you can support the channel over on Coffee, Patreon, or here on YouTube, like I said, all those things. Links for all this and more are down in the description below, as well as a link for Skullsy merchandise and the Skullsy Discord server. And as always, thank you for watching. Be sure to tune in next time, when we are one day closer to my 4 to 8 hour live stream of Starfielders. It, it just works.